Okay, my name is Carla Bull. Um, I'm founder of Spanish-based Kimia, and our business is making money with mobile. So, this is where we started. We started, we founded a company in 2006 with the mission to build technology to distribute internet content over mobile. Uh, we received uh, quite early $3 million uh, round A funding from a local VC in Spain. And we started building, building all this cool technology like media transcoding, mobile billing, mobile search technology to, to build sites, to build apps, et cetera, et cetera. And we tried to sell all that cool stuff to mobile carriers, to media companies to help them build the mobile future. Now, that did not happen. Uh, in 2008, this would be a picture of our team. Uh, by the end of 2008, we were virtually dead. Uh, we didn't make any money because these carriers and these mobile uh, and these media companies basically did not know what to do with our technology. And there were so many technology providers out there that we just couldn't make a business. So um, by the end of 2008, when we didn't have any money anymore, we did a small trial with a video portal sen uh, selling videos with a premium subscription model. Uh, we bought some advertising on AdWords and suddenly some money came in. So by the end of 2008, a year before, we had a lot of money, but we didn't have a business on our hands. And certainly we had a potential business, but we didn't have any money anymore. So we decided beginning of 2009 to change our business. Uh, we laid off 60% uh, of our staff and uh, we changed our focus from selling technology to making money with mobile. This was in 2009. And this is us today. Today we are a mobile media company. Uh, we operate in three verticals. We do uh, games, adult, and sports. We operate in 25 countries in Latin America, Europe, and we recently started in Asia. And we work with a B2C and a B2B2C business model. So where's, where's the opportunity? Uh, I think we all know uh, that guy. He has one big problem. I recently read two articles related with Facebook in May. The first one was that in May, uh, since May, Americans spent more time on Facebook mobile than on Facebook desktop. The second article was about Facebook issuing an amendment to their IPO filing, basically saying they don't know how to make money. And the more people spend time on mobile Facebook, the worse their business goes. So what have we learned? We have learned that mobile is fragmentation. And making money with mobile is understanding that fragmentation. Mobile is a fragmented market in content verticals. It's a fragmented market in platforms. You have sites, you have apps, you have Android, you have iPhone, and it's a, a fragmented market. It's fragmented market geographically. Basically, a mobile gamer in Japan is totally different to a mobile sports fan in Italy. And to make money on that, you have to understand that. So we have built our business around adaptation. We adapt to each country, to each market, to each vertical, with specific business models, and basically, we test we optimize, and then we scale. Actually, I think it's something um, we Europeans have in our DNA. Um, uh, I'm, I'm Belgian, I live in Spain. Uh, Belgium is a small country with two languages. Spain is a shitty home market, so, uh, so we cannot uh, do but uh, adapt. And I think it's something the, the US companies with their big unified market uh, need to learn. So our business now is multi, multi, multi. Uh, we do three content verticals. We work with multiple products. We have video on demand products. We do games. We do uh, apps for the games. We do HTML5 games. We have some new services, infotainment services. 
we do multi-model. Uh, we've worked with subscription models, uh, premium models, in-app premium model sales, and uh, we did some stuff with advertising. We tried uh, impression-based advertising. That did not work. I don't really think it'll be big in mobile. And then we tested uh, performance EPAs-based advertising, and that went very well for us. So now we run two branches in our business. Uh, the first is B2B2C. We do still work with other companies, but we don't sell them technology anymore. We basically help them build their business. Uh, we work with companies like, in the game sector, Spill Games, in the adult uh, U-Porn and Pornhub, and in the sports uh, this season, we will start with Real Madrid and AC Milan. Um, what we do is we take these people's business, we take their brands, we take their audiences, and we make them money. So all our partners, we send them money, and typically we run their m.domain.com, and we do everything. Then we also run a, a B2C business. Uh, we used to work uh, with in-house products uh, we developed. Uh, we still develop some products, uh, but we do less and less, and we try to focus on, on products. We can do a high margin, and we can scale up. Um, now, more and more, we've evolved to product publishing. Uh, we've learned that if you go to many markets, it's, it's almost impossible to build the best possible products for all the verticals in all the markets. So now we more and more select good products, distribute them, publish them, and monetize them. And last but not least, we, um, uh, we've been moving into performance marketing. Uh, as I told before, the key to understanding mobile is fragmentation. And we've seen that there is a huge gap between mobile traffic and monetization of mobile traffic because of the fragmentation. So there's a big market in buying traffic in bulk, splitting it up, and reselling that locally. And locally means per country, per vertical, per, per platform. We're now building the engine um, to, to, to drive all this. And just to give an idea, um, in our engine, we do not optimize on CPM. We optimize on multiple CPM, CPMs for each campaign. So each campaign can have 20 different CPMs based on platform, based on carrier, et cetera, et cetera. So here you have some numbers. Um, we, uh, my partner and I still owe 65% uh, of the company. We are 40 employees uh, of si seven di different nationalities. Uh, we have our, um, our headquarters in Madrid. Daily, uh, we now process uh, 2.5 million uh, visits per day on mobile, uh, more or less 12 million pages per day. Um, since we switched to, to, to making money, we've been growing exponentially. This year, we expect to make $25 million revenue with a $5 million uh, EBITDA. And I think the most significant number is uh, we do 2 million visits per day. We do $2 million uh, per month. So this is basically it. Thank you very much.